Hi, Dyslexic Genius here. I'm back on the Victor four spring motor, the credenza motor, and I'm going to show you why you have to replace the spindle shaft pin that goes through the hold, the turntable or the platter. You see how this is all beat up? It's rounded out. My angel can focus in. And then you see up here, this is all beat, been beat with a hammer. It's straight, but this is too short. An original one, this is out of stock, looks about like that. I prefer a little bit more meat. When you change them out, they should look like this. Through both sides? Through, I like them through both sides. The early ones went through both sides. Later Victors went on one side like this one here. They cut down, they probably figured out if I put a shorter pin in it, it's gonna only cost us a penny instead of two pennies, so we're trying to save money. Now what happens is, this has been beat on, it, it will work, but it's in a marginal state, which means this comes down and it fits, and yeah, sometimes these are loose, that's fine, but it barely hit. It should come down more into the slot. You have a slot in the turntable, this should come down. Now what, what happens is, because this has burrs and has been beat on and it looks like they stuck something in and cut it off with a pair of dikes, this offsets the turntable or platter so it makes it harder to balance when you put everything back together. And this is a problem too because this motor was missing the felts underneath the motor. So it's probably the turntable was wobbling and the whole motor system was doing this underneath the motor board because we have the wood and then the motor's down here. And this was loose, the motor was loose. So it was doing this, rocking. So what are you gonna do? I'll fix, I have to put in a new pin in, the, in this. But I wanted to point out like they cut this off and then you can see the beat marks in here. See all these little indentions in the light? If you can, if I wiggle it a little, you see these, you see those? Oh yeah, beat, beat to heck. Beat to heck. Or they should look like this. And that's the fix. You know, you take a Victor apart, you got a spindle shaft, you have the pin. If the pin's like this, say like this, it should be like that. Because you want, when you put the turntable down, you want it to hit those two slots and the early ones were that way. Later in the 20s, they changed it. And then that will hold the turntable firmer and it'll spin around. This is how I can tell somebody's been in here on this motor before. Looks like Uncle Bubba tried to fix this one here, but we'll fix it right. And that's my tip for the day.